let me ask you this. You are honestly maybe one of the only voices I would want to engage with on, on this topic. R. Kelly. Yes. You... <laughs> R. R. Kelly is a really interesting case where many people have espoused different ideas about why it's happened the way it has. Why has it gone on for as long as it has, et cetera, et cetera. And one of the themes that people seem to keep coming back to is the idea that were it not that he was doing this to young black girls, right. he wouldn't have gotten away with it for so right. long. And in the book, you speak about mm -hmm. the idea of how people have sexualized the black girl. Like, she, she never gets to be a black girl. Mm -hmm. Sex is always what is perceived to be what she wants and what she espouses. You know, like, mm -hmm. you talk about how a white female counterpart at the same age is not seen as right. sexualized. When you look at the story of R. Kelly, when you look at the story of these girls, when you look at how even people in the black community mm -hmm. have reacted to it, what do you think we're missing? What do you think we could be doing better? And what do you think, what have you learned and what do you think we should learn from the entire story? Uh, I think one of the things that we uh, should learn from the story is that celebrity is a cult just like any other cult. Um, and so the, um, the, the leeway we have given R. Kelly is in part due to the fact that we think celebrities exist above and beyond right. our, all of our social norms and that in fact to be excessive to excessively violate the social norms makes you more creative right so that we have a long history of that across all forms of music of celebrities throughout time who have dated and preyed upon young women and it was seen as part of their creative eccentricities right, right, right. right? Um, so that's one thing I think the other thing is precisely that that we are comfortable with black girls always being perceived as responsible for people's desire for them, right? Wow. When people desire, girl, desire children in other contexts, we say that person has an issue. Yes. When the object is black girls, we say that other people's desire for us is our personal responsibility, right? Um, and so one of the things that I think we owe black girls and what I would hope we would, a point we would get to is to give them the agency and a, that allows them to be black girls. And that is to say, I am not responsible for how people perceive me, right? To hold adults responsible for adult behavior and to allow black girls to be girls. Wow, thank you very much. <laughs> Tracy McMillan, call them everybody.